Hey guys, Zion Wright, and I've been skating for 15 years, and here are some of my battle scars. Recently, I was in Houston, Texas on a little trip, and it was literally the last spot we were wrapping up. We were about to fly out the next morning. Wanted to skate this out rail. Originally, I wanted to nose blunt it. One try, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go for it. Went to go for it, and then last minute, just went to grind it. I don't even know what I was thinking. Just stuck and flew, boom. Next thing, I'm like, no, I'm flipping over. It's like, what just happened? And then I had like a big hematoma on my back for like a week or two. It was just in a trip in North Carolina with some of the Nike SB team dudes. And it's like a hell of a spot. Double set, you could skate the rail, you could skate over the rail into the bank. But I was trying to board side pull over, got the trick and then wanted to kind of ride away better. Went to do it, came out board side. And then as I went to go grab, I just like looped out and then just boom, smacked the ground. And then was like, damn, like there's something that's not right. And then like looked to my hand and then but this is like a photo of my thumb. That's like my thumb literally peeled back and that's like me putting like ointment and stuff on it. Yeah, my next one I'm gonna talk about is me breaking my femur. Was skating in Orlando one weekend with the homies. Went to the spot and it's a gap from like a platform over grass into like the track of the field. All I did, tried to kick flip it, like kind of got close to one. And then next thing I noticed, I'm just like jumping out and my leg just like hyper extended and then like psh, popped back and broke. I was like, yeah, dude, like, my leg's broken. I bent my shit. Dude, I just felt a pop. That was like fucking the worst thing that's probably happened to me. Ah, ah, fuck, dude, I bent my shit. Dude, I just felt a pop. That was pretty bad. Oh, there's a fall in my next new way part. I was trying front crook pop over and just like missed it and kind of flipped over. But luckily I was able to like grab the rail when I flipped over and then just like ended up damaging my elbow. This one was like mediocre. We're in Australia for K-Walk Sodi trip. Famous spot, two sets, two rails back to back. And I was trying 5-0 to nose blunt. Didn't get on to the nose blunt. Didn't sack it, like saved myself a little bit, but rolled. It's just funny, cause you can hear this nigga knock me like. That was a wet ass save though. We're in North Carolina on a trip. A big pink, AKA Mike Sinclair, brought us to the sick out rail. Was trying front feeble, back 180, and then just got into the front feeble. Didn't even grind like a quarter of it and just jumped back, sacked, flipped over. That one was pretty bad. Dude, honestly, I want to kind of talk about my Street League slam. That shit was kind of hectic. It was at Street League LA, made the finals at my first ever Street League. It was going good. I was fired up. This is literally how I'm looking at it. Warming up, I'm like sitting up at the top, whatever, about to drop in. I look over to my right and there's a clock. It's like four minutes until the finals. So I was like, all right, I'm going to land this line, sit down, relax, chill. Next thing I notice, I'm dropping in. 5 on the rail, and as I landed, I miscalculated, I guess, or just was easing off to the side and thought I was going up the ramp and then was like grinding up it and then just, boom, launched straight to my back and hit my head on, like, literally on the inside of the thing. Luckily, it wasn't like at the crease or like on the side or something, dude. They said that Zion was out for just a few moments and unfortunately, he's not gonna be skating. He had a neck brace and he was able to get up, get onto the stretcher and the medical staff's attending to him. The crowd went wild, but we're just really hoping that, that Zion is gonna be okay. I was just laying there, unconscious, not moving. Like everyone like came up, was tripping, luckily, I only split my head open, got like six staples. They said I suffered a concussion, but I really didn't feel the concussion symptoms after. Don't really feel like I'm 
different or anything from hitting my head from that. So, so yeah, those are some of my battle scars. I'm sure there's many more to come and signing off.